All right. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying, Brakatha Yahawa, Brakatha Yahawa Shai, Brakatha Yahawa, Brakatha Yahawa Shai, Brakatha Yahawa, Brakatha Yahawa Shai, Ka Hala Yahawa Ba Shem Yahawa Shai, Ba Shem Raka Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS, Great Millstone, who rule well and who taught me this truth. And uh, Shalom to you, sincere Akiyam, out there listening and learning and pushing this truth. And Shalom to the few sincere Akwath that are out there listening and learning as well. With that being said, I'm going to jump straight into this video. I don't want to write to be edifying. As usual, I'm going to go into Raka Kwadash. And I saw this, um, this video actually popped up in my news feed. Um, it wasn't from Sky News, but it was from like Reuters or something. I saw the clip of this shooting and um, I had to do a lesson on it. I had to had to, I had to touch on it. Uh, I'm going to title this lesson, um, Anything You Can Do, I Can Do Better. Anything you can do, I can do better. <laughs> and I'm saying that because uh, when I saw the still shot of this um, individual, <laughs> I was like, is that a woman? You know, because we're so used to these um, shootings being men, whether it be young men or older men, you know. But this time it was a transformer, <laughs> all right? It was a so-called transformer. And I was like, man, showing you the times that we're living in and this place is through. Complete confusion. <laughs> Babylon the Great, <laughs> this place is through. So again, uh, anything you can do, I can do better, all right? In regards to that transformer, who was um who did that uh school shooting in Nashville? So let's read a little bit of this and I bring out a scripture and I close out. I don't want to write this out, this to be edifying, all right? So this is from Sky News and it reads Nashville school shooting. What we know about killer Audrey Hill. Again, this was a transformer. It says the attacker shot dead three children and three adults at a private Christian school in Nashville, Tennessee, which this is nothing new, all right. There's been non-stop terrorist attacks. This is the vibration that's in the earth. And actually, this is biblical prophecy. Terror shall make him afraid on every side, which I'm going to bring out. Job, I think that's 18 and 11. I'm going to, I'm going to close out with that scripture. But what was strange, <laughs> what was confusing was when I saw the still shot of, again, this individual. It was a transformer, Okay completely caught me off guard but i don't even know why i shouldn't i shouldn't be surprised all right so it says um again anything you can do i can do better details are emerging about an attacker who killed six people including three children at a nashville school before being shot dead by police we know the attacker was a 28 that's the main point we know the attacker was a 28 year old who identified as a transgender male. However, she was a biological woman. Okay? Anything you can do, I can do better. <laughs> we know the attacker was a 28-year-old who identified as a transgender male, a biological woman by the name of Audrey Elizabeth Hale. Initially, police thought they were a teenager. They were a former student at the Co at the Covenant School and a Nashville resident who lived with their parents. Hale, who had no criminal history, was armed with two assault-style rifles and a pistol, and officers received reports of the attack at 10.13 a.m. The killer had entered the building by shooting through glass doors before carrying out the attacks. And that's what I saw. I saw her... Um, I saw the individual shooting out the windows and going through with the assault rifle, you know, and I was like, what the hell, you know, it says, uh, in a video released by police, Hale wore a black vest over a white t-shirt, camouflage trousers, and a backwards red baseball cap as they roamed the school premises with the rifle brandished. In response to the shootings, two officers opened fire and fatally shot Hale at 10:27 a.m. That's pretty much the point. Um, that's pretty much the point that I wanted out of that, you know. But that completely caught me off guard. It, a damn transformer. But that's the times that we're living in. And ultimately, 
who knows, man? It could be. Who, I'm not even gonna say nothing because I don't want to get uh, sued like uh, like uh, what's that dude uh, that got sued uh, saying the Sandy Hook shooting was a was a false flag attack. Uh, what the hell is uh, Alex Jones? I don't want to get sued like Alex Jones, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna leave that alone, okay? But we know ultimately they want to usher in gun control. All right, it's part of the new world order. That's why, again, as soon as this happened, you had uh, Sleepy Joe go on news and talk about gun control policies, which we know is going to lead to more sedition. All right, they already did, uh, passed legislation about restricting uh, gu um, gun stocks, butt stocks, you know, and these uh, red blood Americans were up in arms, you know. So, hey, man, <laughs> all hell is about to break loose. And again, this is all signs of the times, all right? These are, these are the times that we're living in. Complete confusion and utter chaos. Again, anything you can do, I can do better, <laughs> all right? So I'm going to close out here. Uh, Job 18 and 11, the main point is in 11. I'm going to start at 8. It says, for he is cast into a net by his own feet. Talking about Esau Edom, he's at his end, the end of his world, his rulership, his empire, his age. All right, he's in a trick bag, you know. He can't go forward. He can't go backwards, and he can only go forward. All he can do is go forward with his agenda, his new world order, to karagma the people, to collapse this current society, and usher in that digital that digital system. As soon as he does that, hey, he's through. He's through, you know. Yeah. As soon as he 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 comes in as a flood, he makes a move on the on the apostles. And the prophets and the teachers and the elect, guess what? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to lift up that standard on his ass. He's through. He's in a quagmire. Okay? You know? For he is cast into a net by his own feet, and he walketh upon a snare, a trap. The jinn shall take him by the heel, and the robber shall prevail against him. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because ultimately, this is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's movie. It's a perfect algorithm to get us to the kingdom. Esau Edom is just a means to an end. He's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's whipping stick on the left hand side. The snare is laid for him in the ground and a trap for him in the way. It says, hey, he's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai set him on slippery slopes. It says, terrors, the main point. Terrors shall make him afraid on every side. And that's what you see. Year after year, terrorist attack after terrorist attack. And they're amplifying, they're increasing, they're becoming the norm, okay? Okay? And now you got even women carrying out these terrorist attacks. Or, in this case, a transformer. It says, terror shall make him afraid on every side. You're not going to be able to tell who's going to snap, especially in the times that we're living in, with the love, where the love of many is going to wax cold, okay? You know, these people are going to lose it, all right? You know, you're not going to know if it's a young, a young person is going to snap an old person. You're not going to their, their so-called race, black, white, Asian. You know, you're not you're not going to be able to tell from where where that where where that attack is coming from. OK, you know, because the people are tired of being oppressed and they're going to lash out. The people are tired of mourning. That's why we know sedition is coming. Race wars, class wars, all hell is going to break loose. We're at the door. Of Jacob's trouble. It says, terror shall make him afraid on every side and shall drive him to his feet. He's ultimately going to lock everything down, you know. Um, what is that? Implement martial law, set up checkpoints, you know. That's the times that we're living in. It says, his strength shall be hunger bitten and destruction shall be ready at his side. He shall devour the strength of his skin. Even the firstborn of death shall devour his strength. His confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle. He's going to be as Esau. We're coming into the times where Esau Edom is going to be as a chase row. It says, His confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle, and it shall bring him to the king of terrors. The king of terrors is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, that's the times that we're living in. Esau Edom's end. All right? He's through. He's through. And these people are through. And they're going to lash out. All right? And it's gonna cut you're not gonna know where it's gonna come from. Alright? Because anything you can do, I can do better. <laughs> anyway, 
I don't want to rot this out. I was edifying. Hey, man, keep pushing. Keep fighting. We're close. Shalom. Wa abad babo. Kwam Allah.